Hey guys, it's good to be back with you. This is day 41 of my series to get to 2000 ELO on chess.com. And we're currently at 1682. Uh, we've been doing really well. Um, we just got our highest win in our last game. So if you didn't see that, check it out. Um, if you enjoy this game, guys, uh, please comment below. Uh, let me know what you think or if there's anything you want me to um, improve on in this series or any any thoughts you have at all just let me know um, thanks so much for watching let's get into a game let's win today okay we are playing white and i'm actually going to play a different opening i know people say the london is a system but i've actually never played it um, so this is the jabava london system and i never play this um, and it sort of just goes with uh, these three pieces here, and you want to try to form this pyramid shape here. Um, yeah, this is this is like a, a generic sort of setup. We are playing a guy from the Netherlands, Boss Sam Hag. Um, okay, he's hitting here, but we don't need to worry about this. Let's just get our pawn up here to defend, and we'll bring our knights out. Now, I never play I never play these these systems, so I'm probably going to make a lot of mistakes but i'm ready to uh to win this one okay he's attacking here um already i think my position looks a lot stronger because i've got these pawns and the bishop the bishops on the outside of them and he's got these pawns but his bishops on the inside so i want to take advantage of this bishop basically keep it locked behind its pawns that's that's sort of my goal here i think now he's pinned my knight um, I don't see this as a great move, um, but I don't know if I should deal with it yet. Um, I'm thinking if he comes here with this knight, um, he's trying to kick, kick me away. So I actually want to make some room for my own bishop because I want to hold on to this bishop. Um, so I'm just going to not worry about this right now. Um, okay, he's attacking me twice. Two attackers here, so I better defend. Now, the only way I can defend um, is queen up, I think. Um, should I do that? I can't defend here, um, unless I want to just double my pawns, but then that gives him a pawn. I think I'm going to come queen here. I don't think this is too wrong, because he can't kick me away. Yeah, I'm going to come here. And now if he takes with either piece, I will just recapture with pawn and that'll kick this away. Okay, so let's just, he's castled. Let's let's get rid of this um, this bishop because I don't like this on the, on this side. I don't like having to be tied down to this, this tension here. Okay, now we have an open B file for our rook. We, uh, we also need to develop this bishop. So maybe we get the bishop here. And um, again, his bishop is kind of tra trapped right now. So I'm going to try to play around that. I'm thinking of a move like this. Trade, take, and then pushing here, attacking this way. This looks pretty good. Okay, I don't know. that He wants to get his white, white bishop involved on this square. So I need to... Um, be wary of that. He can't do it right now though, because I can just take because I have a bishop, a bishop and a queen uh, eyeing this up. But if he comes here, he it looks like he wants to break open the center here somehow. So I'm gonna try to just keep the tension and not allow that. I think here is a great move. His knight can go here. But also, if I come here, he's probably coming here. Take and his bishop's here on a maybe more dangerous diagonal I don't know also how am I getting rid of this guy I think I have to push the push him here let's um let's try to prepare our bishop and castle before we before we go into the center I think getting our rooks onto these files before we make any big decision I think that's the way to go here
I'm assuming he's coming here. What else could he do? He could get his rooks involved more. His queen's needing to get developed too. Maybe he's going to come up here. He drops back. That's funny. Okay. I think what he wants to do is get his his bishop here. That's his whole goal here. And I'm just trying to see what what he's trying to do here. That's that's what I'm looking at. Now, if he does come here, I'm going to be forced to move my queen. And the only square is is back to here to d1. So I really don't want this to happen. What about pushing my pawn? Pushing my pawn. And then he comes here. My pawn will be pinned. Then I have this square for my queen. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of this. But I'm not quite sure how to stop it yet. I could drop the knight back. And then he comes here. I push. If he takes, we take with knight. But then our knight is pinned. And he can come here. No. I think pushing the pawn seems like a decent option here. It just gives my queen more breathing room. Um, also coming here. Instead of coming back, I can come here. If I come here, though, he can attack me. If I come here, he goes here. Push. Take, take. And then back over here. I think I'm going to do this. I like this move. I can also come in here at some point, maybe. But yeah, this is the move I think he's going to do. I need to um, use my time. I only have half of it left. Okay, this is this is what I thought he would do. And that does worry me a bit. I can't come here, 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 here. So I have to choose between here or here. Um, I don't think I have any other tactic. I don't like just dropping back. Not a big fan of this. Now he's coming here. But I think we can still do this. Then he takes. Can we? Here. Here. It's not looking good. Ugh, I should have I should have gone this way. This was a mistake. I should have gone this way. Okay, we'll, we'll just pull back for now, maybe. Well, if I pull back to here, he takes this pawn. What about just capturing? If I capture, then he takes here. Oh, no, then I win this. Yeah. Okay, I win his knight if he, do, if he does capture. Okay. I think... I don't know why I thought I could just take this. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, we'll come in here and then we'll try to target this. What have we done? Now he's just going to win a piece. What have we done? This is so bad. I hate the London. I should have come here. I'm so stupid. Did I have any other move? I couldn't come here. I couldn't come here. I couldn't come here. I couldn't... Yeah, this is the only square I had. And now I have to come back, and he's going to take here. Can I go here? He takes, and then I have to keep running. I'm just going to sidestep and come up here. This is not good.
Now he has no retreat here, but he's just going to take this bishop. Oh, that's so bad. All right, let's see what we can do. I just fell to like a simple, simple thing. And his knight's useless. This, this was not supposed to happen. His bishop was supposed to be stuck back there. And it should have been stuck back there. I just really misplayed this. Let's um, protect our pawn. And I can't castle right now. I mean, I can castle this way, but it's, it's not ideal. Tick, tick. I'm going to go for this. We win a pawn. The game is still winnable. So we just need to make good moves here. Really misplayed that. I don't want to trade queens. If he takes here, I'm totally fine with that. I have my queen guarding as well. Take, take. Uh, I think we can actually take this for free. Did he just miss this? He can't take because his, his queen is in trouble. Did we just win a piece? <laughs> Maybe I am back in this game. Did we just win that? Okay, guys, never give up. Like, actually never give up. Okay, what is this guy doing? What's he doing? He just completely fell apart. I love the London system. <laughs> just get out just being stupid. Um, he could have taken this. Um, maybe we come here. We just try to trade right now. What he wants to do is come here or here and, and hit this with a fork. Do I come here, trade, trade, and then he wins this piece back? I think we just try to hold on to this piece. Let's go here. And we're threatening mate in one. I can't believe that he just that he just threw that game away. That's crazy. We'll offer a trade here. If he goes here, then I'm, what am I going to do? I don't want him to have any initiative. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to take this or should I take it here? He's going to recapture. I go here, threatening this and this. Yeah, let's do this. Hitting his rook and checkmate. When you're ahead, it's okay to trade, make a poor trade. That's what I've learned from a, a few previous games. It's okay to give a rook for a for a knight, because then it allows stuff like this. Guys, I cannot believe that that we just we were completely losing that game, and then he just gave it back to us. That's so funny. Like this guy's a sixteen fifty. Like he's not a bad player, but he just. I think I gotta remember to just always. Uh, never give up. Never give up. GG. L let's let's review this game. Um, we'll go into the review here. And it says we played at an 88.1. I don't know about that, but um, it, it says we're at 1950. I don't think so. We, we, we got into a really losing position. Uh, we didn't actually have any blunders, though. We only had one mistake and two inaccuracies, which doesn't really make any sense because I feel like we got into a really bad position. So here we could have won a pawn. So 
so going here, I suppose, is the attack. Um, this is what we're, we should be looking for in the system. I forgot about this, going for c7. And so he tries to defend it, and we can just win a pawn there. So that's definitely something to look out for. Don't just go for these pyramid moves. Like, if they don't defend correctly, go in for the attack. This is kind of like in the Black Mardimer Gambit, going for this c7 square. I need to remember that's sort of what my aim is here. Um, okay. Uh, I just did this move because I wanted a space for my bishop. But maybe the best move is to develop my light square bishop. Yeah, and getting it onto this diagonal, protecting this pawn, seems good. And here's the mistake. So he kicks me, and I shouldn't have come back to here. Let me retry this. I should come back to here. Yeah. So this square is much better, and it already says he's um, here. I'm I'm at a basic uh, equality, and here I'm basically down a whole minor piece. I don't know why this isn't a blunder. If I retry this move, I wonder is this the best move? Yeah, this was the best move. So coming here to protect this uh, from this th uh, threat here. So this move was basically a blunder. This move was a good one. Um, so was there a better, it was just best to just take and give up my queen. Um, I'm already in such a bad position, but from here on out, we actually play all the best moves. This was the best move to sacrifice our rook. That's amazing. I'm really happy that I spotted that as the best move. Anyway, guys, that was because we had the checkmate threat. Hope you guys enjoyed this game. I can't believe I won that. I'm at 1690 now. And like, like I should have lost this game. But I, I know where I went wrong. And also, um, in the Jabavo London, I need to remember that I can go for that C7 square. So that's what I'm going to be doing in the future. Um, if I do play this system. I know people don't like systems. But... It does seem like I'm becoming more of a positional player and not so much an attacking player. I don't know. But, um, yeah, any, any way that I can uh, win and get more ELO. We played it in 1950. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.